নমস্কার দেখছেন এবিপি আনন্দ আপনাদের সঙ্গে আমি সুব্রজিৎ শুরু করছি এই বিশেষ অনুষ্ঠান লকডাউনে ক্লাসরুম অ্যান্ড স্টুডেন্টস ইউ নো দ্যাট টুডে আওয়ার সাবজেক্ট ইজ ম্যাথামেটিক্স অ্যাট দ্য টপিক উয়ার গোয়িং টু ডিসকাশন ইজ ইন ইকুয়েশন বিফোর উই স্টার্ট আর ক্লাস Uh, let me introduce Mrs. Tapoti Roy, Council Appointed Teacher of James Academy International School. And a uh, uh, very warm welcome, madam. And uh, the students who are on the other side of the television, if you have any kind of queries, doubts and questions related to today's topics, feel free to call. The number is being displayed on the television screen. Now, uh, madam, it has often been observed that students are sort of opinion that mathematics is a very difficult subject to deal with. And, uh, a sense of anxiety is there among the students when they face mathematical problem i would rather say madam and i think you will agree with me that once you accept the challenge of uh, uh, solving a mathematical problem and you succeed in doing so it gives you an uh, uh, a sense of uh, satisfaction joy and happiness that can well be compared with uh, winning of an oscar i'm going to try it ma'am very well said i must say that is the joy of mathematics actually it is a very easy subject the only little thing that we need is to go on drilling if your concepts are clear it's right from the beginning if you pay attention you do all your drilling of the sums revise and keep your formulas in place and see that you remember the different methods that you are teaching then i think mathematics is easy because you don't have too much of um, memory work is more of working on it and the joy of getting a sum correct is really excellent and i think it's if like you an start adventure. yes it is and if you start really working right from the beginning you will find that it is really simple because mathematics solving a sum i would say there is not only one method of doing the sum there are many ways so we will the teachers will check or anyone checking it's only seeing whether logically the steps are correct so what one teacher has taught or another teacher or one friend has so showed you doesn't matter you can approach in any way you want to do your mathematics so there is no hard and fast rule that you have to do by this method so i think mathematics is a enjoyable subject and that is a subject which you can do at any time of the day very true ma'am and i can see you have already written today's topic that is linear yes. equation in one variable right. can we proceed ma'am we are going to do today our topic is linear in equation in one variable now one variable you have done equation in one variable so today we are doing in equation before we go on to the topic what we i want to say you have done linear inequality or we can say inequality in your lower classes also like when you were in a very small class junior classes you learn the numbers like if i say 20 is greater than say 52 so these are things which you have done or 15 is less than 5 this is also inequality that means greater smaller so you've learned this now next we say in geometry the, we have a topic in uh, class 9 those who are in 10 must have learned it that is inequality in geometry triangles uh, those who are in 9 will be doing it so we have in arithmetic we have in geometry what we are doing today is inequality in algebra so before we go on let us see what is this inequality the slide uh we are taking a balance now you can see a balance there you know what a measuring balance is so you can see there uh we have weights on the two pans in one pan that is in pan a we can see there is a basket of carrots and two 1 kg weight and in the other we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 1 kg weight but what do we see the pointer in the uh, span we find that it is fully in the middle what does it show there is equal weight on both the sides if it is equal weight on both the sides that means it is an e- equal to the two weights weights of basket 
of carrots plus the 1 plus 1 that is the two ways that we have got equal to what have we got in the other side 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Plus one. So, there are, so we have the basket of carrots plus 2 kg weight, that means there is some weight of the basket is equal to 6. So, they are balanced. Now, let us see the next slide. Can what I come do to the next slide please, please uh, carry on. Yeah. Next slide. Now, what do we see here? We see there is the basket, yes, there are the carrots, basket of carrots, there is a 1 kg, you are right, 1 kg, but what do we see on the right hand side? Right hand side we can see there are basket of carrots plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, we have got the basket of carrots. plus 2 is equal to 4 kg weight. So, that means, now, but the balance, there is a difference in the balance. What is the difference? We find that the pan which carries the basket of carrots is lower down and the other one has gone higher up. That means, they are not equal. So, the two of these are not equal. So, what do we say here? There is something different we say less than. And here comes so, ma'am the basic question, the difference between equation and inequation. So, we are coming to that okay, soon with this, with this only I will explain. So, here I wrote equal to, so this is not equal to, why? Because we have seen in the pan there is a, they are not in the same balance. That means, the pointer showed that they are different. So, basket of carriers plus 2 is less than Four. rather sorry not less than I think the pan was the right hand side was. So, this is greater than greater than right right because this was we found that the can when we had the pan here this was when it was equal to and when we had this we had it like this. So, that means it is bent this side. So, therefore, this is lesser than this. So, therefore, we say this is greater than this. So, therefore, we get. Now, suppose I take the basket of carrots, that is now let us take the basket of carrots as equal to x kg, okay. right. And what did we have there? Plus 2. And what was it equal to? 6. In the second case, we found that x plus 2 was there, but it was not less than, but it was greater than not 6, we had greater than 4. Oh. We had a weight of 4. Right. Now, what did we have here? That means, this is equal to, look at the symbol, this is greater than. Greater than. So, they cannot be both the same. So, this is called what sir was asking, this is an equation and this is an inequation. Right ma'am. Ma'am, uh, before you proceed, uh, I yes. beg your pardon ma'am, there is a uh, student named Orghujit and he has yes. some questions. Sure, sure. So, may I uh, take the yes, phone call? Sure. Yes, Orghujit, please carry on. Yes ma'am. My question is, uh, is the difference between equation and linear equation, if you explain once more, it is clear to me. Yes, dear, I will be discussing a lot about equation and inequation. I am coming to it. We have just shown with a diagram and we will come to equation. I will always refer to the equation. Why? Because you will have done already equation. From class 6, you are doing equation or rather in class 5 also a little bit, mainly in class 6, you have done equation. So, the relationship I am bringing with it. So, in this, just carry on watching. Now, here what do we have? Is it okay? Yeah. So, here we have x plus 2 equals to 6. So, we are equating them. So, this is an equation. 
and here x plus 2 the two balance they are not equal and this was more than this. So, we wrote greater than 4 this is an inequation. Now, let us see what happens let us go on to this x plus 2 equals to 6. Now, when is this true? The only thing you can find out the missing number you can solve it out if x I put equal to 4 what do I get 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Mm. So, from this what do you get that the box basket of carrots is of weight 4 kg. Right. So, we have got with the equation we found that it is true that means it is true for only one value. Now, let us see this x plus 2 greater than 4. Now, suppose I take x equals to uh, 1 suppose my weight of x is 1. So, 1 plus 2 is that greater than 4? No. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and it is not greater than 4. So, x cannot be 1 kg. Now, let us see if I put x equals to 3. Now, what do we have 3 plus 2 be equal to 5. 5. Is 5 greater than 4? Yes, it is true. So, x can take the value the basket of carrot might be 3 kg also. So, because it is satisfied. If I take x equals to say 4, 4 plus 2 that is equal to 6. six. So, is 6 greater than 4? Yes. Yes, 6 is greater than 4. Now, what do we see actually here? In equation, we found that this really equal, equal to sign is valid for only one value of x. But here we find that this is true for more than one value. So, therefore, we see that equation has is true for only one value, but in equation is true for <coughs> is true for more than one value. one value. It may be one value, it may be more, more than, than one, one value. value also. Now, let us go to our properties. I hope all is this much is clear of your concept of your equation and inequation. Now, we are going to deal with properties properties of inequality that is what is not equal. Now, we are doing going to do properties of inequality. So, what do we get here? We find that suppose I take a number we have a general proof the next slide. Uh, we are going on to say I am taking a number 9 greater than 6. This is true, right? Okay. Now, if I add 3, add 3 to both the sides of the inequation, what do I get? 9 plus 3, here I am also adding 6 plus 3. What is my answer here? 12. What is my answer here? 9. Is 12 greater than 9? True. Yes. So, 12 is greater than 9. So, we started with 9 greater than 6, but by just adding 3, it has not changed the inequality sign, it still remains the same. Let us see subtraction. If 9, again 9 greater than 6, I am subtracting 9 minus 3 and here 6 minus 3. What is 9 minus 3? Six. That is 6. What is 6 minus 3? Three? 3. 3. So, is 6 greater than 3? Yes. yes. So, 6 is still greater than 3. So, therefore, again the equality remains the same by subtracting a number. So, we can say by adding or subtracting any number 
to uh, inequality, it does not change the inequality, it still remains greater than. Mm. Now, let us see. So, I hope it is clear, we can add or subtract any number on any side of both the side of the inequality. Both LHS and RHS. Yes. Discomfort with this. Now, let us see with multiplication, multiplication first multiplication and division let us say, multiplication and division. Addition and subtraction uh, mm. have already been done. Yes, and now division. Multiplication, multiplication and division. And division. Right ma'am. Now, let us think of this number that is um, 9 greater than 6. I am doing by division first. Okay. 9 divided by 3 and 6 divided by 3. What is this? this Ma'am, divided by 3. Yes, 6 divided, divided by, by three. 3. Now, 9 divided by 3 that is 3, 6 divided by 3 that is 2. two. So, is 3 greater than 2? Yes. So, still it with multiplication also there is no change. No, ma'am. Division. division also no change. Right. Again, I'm doing multiplication also. Nine into three, six into three, twenty-seven, and this is eighteen. 18. So is twenty-seven greater than eighteen? Yes. So that is true. So again, it is true. That means whether addition, subtraction, or multiplication or division by a num positive num number we find that the operation remains the same. Ad for addition subtraction, we can use any number positive or negative. Here, I am taking only positive number. Now, suppose I now this you have to watch very carefully division. Now, again I am starting with 9 greater than 6. Mm. Now, I am dividing by both sides by minus 3. So, I am doing 9 divided by minus 3, 6 divided by minus 3. Now, what do we get? This becomes minus 3 and this becomes minus 2. Have a look. Now, before we go on, to this, let us have a look at this. I will come to this later also. Now, you are familiar with, I hope you can see it. So, we have got a axis here. Now, this is a line that is a real number line. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, what do you see here? 1, 2, 3, 4, that means on the right hand side, the numbers are going on increasing and on the left hand side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. That means, our positive numbers are on the right hand side and our negative numbers on the left hand side. Positive side they go on increasing, negative side they go on decreasing. decreasing. That means, from this what can we say that minus 3 is lesser than minus 2. So, here what are we having? minus 3 is less than 2, minus 2. So, what is the change here? This was greater, now this has become less. So, when we divide by a negative number, the inequality changes. Now, let us go again, 9 greater than 6 multiplying by minus 3 and 6 also by minus 3. What do I see here? Minus, minus 27, 27 minus, minus 18. 18. Now, can you tell me? I cannot show with my small ruler all the numbers. So, according to this, which is your greater number? So, here see minus 3 is greater than minus 4. So, if you see here, 
what about minus 18 and minus 27? So, minus 18 greater. is greater than minus 27. So, we have a lesser sign here. And once more, I need to interrupt you. Uh, yes. Sorry, ma'am. Another student is there hmm. on the phone line. Let me take his question. Akshay Pratap Singh is there. Yes, Akshay, please go on. Uh, sir, I have a question that uh, is it necessary to draw on uh, number line? Mm, can you repeat your question, please? Yes, I think I have understood. You have understood. Okay. Uh, please, ma'am. See, ma here we, we are just explaining the properties of addition, subtraction, multiplication of numbers that is addition, subtraction, multiplication with positive numbers, ne negative numbers what it comes because these we are going to use them in, in equation unless these concepts are clear you would not be able to solve them out. Here we do not represent the number line. We have seen that many students make a mistake of understanding which side are the positive numbers and which side are the negative numbers. So, what they do is they mark here all the positive and here all the negative and they cannot understand which is bigger and which is smaller. So, you must understand that the numbers in case of negative number, this number 27 in a positive number would have been greater than this number in a positive number. So, 27 would have been greater than 18, but we find according to this that is why I am showing you do not have to draw the number line. This is to show how it is placed on the number line which side is the greater number, which side is the smaller number. So, from here you can conclude that minus 27 is less than minus 18, right? I hope you have understood. Yes, ma'am. So, we have done all the properties which we are going to use in our in equation. May I take another phone call ma'am? Yes, sure. If you have permission. Sure. Uh, Joymarlo uh, Rana is there on the phone line. Uh, yes, Joymarlo. I want to ask, uh, hello ma'am. Yes. I want to ask that um, in, in linear equation, Yes, what question? Please uh, place your Hello. question, please. Um, I am asking that uh, in, the, in the linear equation, can we use or implies that? I linear could, equation, can we use or implies that uh, such kind of question is there? Implies, that means when you are solving it. See, when I am solving it, I will be showing all the method of how to solve in equation. So, do not worry about that we will come you see the whole thing and you will find out that all your doubts will be cleared. Is I, that clear? I, I, I want to make an announcement ma'am uh, uh, for the students whoever is uh, calling and uh, making uh, placing your questions here please make sure your television set is on mute mode until you put your television set on mute mode your question will not be audible to ma'am and your question will remain unanswered. Please uh, take care of this please carry on ma'am. Now, let us go on to this. Suppose we say 3 times a number is equal to 15. So, 3 x is equal to 15. That is what we interpret. 3 times a number is equal to 15. So, therefore, we say this is our equation. Just now, I have explained it is a two expressions with an equal to sign. So, again we are saying what is an equation? Equation is a mathematical statement where two algebraic expressions are connected by an equal to sign. So, 3 x equal to 15. Now, this is true for what? 3 into 5 that is equal to 15. So, therefore, the value of x here is 5. Can any other number satisfy this? No. no. There is only one value which can satisfy that 3 times a number is equal to 15. Now, if I say 3 times a number is greater than 15. So, we can use 3x greater than 15. I can take example 3x 
less than 15 or we can say 3 x 3 x greater equal to 15 all these are inequality signs. So, we have got our inequation. So, 3 x is greater than 15. Now, if I divide by we have learned the properties just now dividing by 3 it does not change the inequality sign. So, dividing by 3 on both the sides what do we get x is greater than 5. five. Same thing here x is less than 5 same way dividing we get this it's all the same. So, here greater than 5. So, now x greater than 5 there are so many numbers possible there is no one single solution. So, this is what we are getting that in equation we are getting only one solution in inequality or in equation we are getting more than one or one solution. So, therefore, we are going on for solving equation. Now, we will go on to our word problem. No, ma'am, you were um, uh, inequality and inequation, their application in mathematics, you are making us understand. Now, okay. um, students do also have question, why do we observe inequality in your uh, daily life also? Right, right, Will very good question. That, so, where do we look in inequality in our daily life? Now, suppose if I say, if in India, the a person is eligible for voting only if his age or his or her age is more than 18 or equal to 18. So, see this is fully an inequation. What are we saying? X is the age and what is the condition given for you to be able to vote? Your age has to be greater years. or equal to. You, if you are 18, you are eligible to voting or if you are more than 18 also, you are. So, if a person goes to vote, what is to be checked? The age. Age is what? X. So, we are checking X. If a person comes and says my age is 17, eligible? No, because it does not satisfy the inequality here. So, if a sub person comes and say I am 25, yes, eligible. So, this is also an inequation. We see it all around us. Say, um, the speed limit of a two wheeler in Kolkata is 40 kilometers per hour. So, speed limit, read the word, is 40 kilometers. So, that means the speed has to be, x should be what? Less equal to 40 maximum you can put your speed as 40 kilometers per hour. So, you have to keep in mind that the limit is maximum 40, you have to be within a range 40 or below 40. Again an inequation. So, you can see all around you inequation, it is not that uh, just a sum on the board or on your copy. Okay. Ma'am, uh, we have another student Anunna Kanojia on the phone line and yes. she has some questions. Yes, Anunna. Hello. Yes. yes, please go on. Uh, do we have to draw number line in each and every question? Uh, I will directly uh, ask ma'am to if you answer the question of Anunna Kanojia who had questions, uh, raised a question regarding number line ma'am. Okay. Ananya, your question was whether we have to draw uh, number line on, on for all sums in any question. You will draw only when it is asked for, right? So, you read the question carefully, if they ask to draw the number line, that means represent the solution on the number line, then we will draw the number line and we will come back to the number line. Okay? Now, we are going on to a word problem. Yes. Can we have the uh, word problem on the slide please? Yes. Here is the word problem ma'am. Yes. Amit scored three more goals than Sanjay so, in a football uh, the match. The problem says Amit scores three more goals, goals than Sanjay than Sanjay in a football match. At a football match. A football match. Together they scored football match. And together they, they score, score 
less than 9 goals. Score less than 9 goals. 9 goals. Let us go on to this sum. Read your always when a problem is given, first read it carefully. Now, here I will decide, I uh, will do a little different. Amit scores 3 more goals than Sanjay and at a football match and together they score less than 9 goals. So, therefore, we have less than 9 goals and we have to find what is Sanjay's score. Yes. You can see the problem written there. Now, let us take first, suppose Sanjay, Sanjay scores is x because why am I taking it x? Because it is a variable, we do not know what the score is. So, what is Amit's score? Amit's score will be 3 more, so x plus 3. Now, according to the condition, I am going to this condition afterwards. First, I say, suppose that total score was 9, the total of both their scores were 9. Then, what would I have written? x plus x plus 3 is equal to, equal to 9. Now, why am I taking equation when they have not said? Always refer to what is your previous knowledge. You have done equation. So, we are going on to the previous knowledge and we are referring to equation. Because in equation is based on e equation only, the only difference is it is not a equal to, it is a inequality and so we get more than one solution. Now, here let us see, what do I get? 2 x plus 3 equals to 9, 2 x is equal to 9 minus 3, 2 x equals to 6. So, x is equal to 6 upon 2. So, x is 3. So, there I have got what? Sanjay score. So, according to my condition that their total score is 9, Sanjay would have scored how many values? So, that means, Sanjay scores would have been 3. Mm. Now, let us see, suppose according to the problem, according to the problem is what? x plus x plus 3, they have said together they score less than 9 goals. So, I write it less than 9 goals. So, we get 2 x plus 3 less than 9. Now, 2 x, we do, we are actually doing the same operation. What? We subtract, is not it? I am doing it here, always minus 3 less than 9 minus 3 the inequation does not change if I subtract a number on both sides of the inequality. So, mm. 2 x is less than 6. Now, what do I get? Divide by 2 on both the sides. So, 2 x divided by, so 2 is a positive number, again it does not change. So, x is less than 3. So, now what have I got? Sanjay scores are less than 3. Now, what are the numbers that Sanjay's score could be? 1 is 0, 1 is 1, 1 is 2. All these numbers are less than 3. So, Sanjay may have scored 0 goals or 1 goal or 2 goals. So, there are 3 possibilities we have got for this condition that is given. Now, someone may ask less than 3 we have got minus 1, minus 2, why not <laughs> those, but can we get negative score of in a football match, the goals cannot be negative. So, therefore, we can have only possible outcomes are 0, 1 and 2. So, again we have solved the inequation here. Now, we will actually go on to solving linear inequation. Ma'am, you have uh, very vividly described uh, the equation and inequation and there are also questions among the questions, one question is that what is the difference in the solution of, a, of an equation and an inequation? Yes, you will see that I have discussed this question, it is a good question. Mm. Many a time, I am going on referring, when we are solving an equation, we find the major thing we find that an equation that has an, with one variable, there is only one solution, one unique solution, you cannot have more than one solution. Here, we may have one or more than one solution. So, solving out we have seen. 
So, this is a major difference between equation and inequation, but the method of solving is same, right. We do the same operations and we carry on. So, now we are going to actually go on to solving inequations. Ma may I take another phone call? Yes, sure. Shopnodip is there uh, with his phone uh, with his question on the phone call. Yes, Shopnodip, what do you have to ask? Ma'am, I have a question that yes. in section 2, if we attempt 5 out of 7 questions, will the first 4 questions be taken into account when marks will be given or the best 4 questions which I have answered will be taken into account? Child, this is not a part of the topic we are doing, but even then I will tell you the best thing to do is to answer what the options are given. So, there are 4 questions to be done from the section B that means your choice section it is better you stick to that and give time to recheck otherwise there are chances of going wrong with your what work you have already done to hurry up and do an extra sum. So, I think you stick to your number of choices that you are given in the question. I hope that is clear. So, do not be in a haste always cool calm and composed <laughs> while uh, solving a mathematical problem. So, uh, now ma'am, you are uh, proceeding to toward solve the inequation. Okay. 3x plus 5. Yes, the next uh, solve, uh, can, can we have the slide solve 3x plus 5 uh, greater than equals to 5x minus 3. Can we have the slide please on the screen, television screen? 3x plus 5 greater than equals to 5x minus 3. Represent the solution on the number line if. Yes. Read the question carefully. Yes, ma'am. 3x plus 5 greater than equals to 5x minus 3. That is 3. okay. I have written the question down. Right. It is not there on the slide. Uh, I hope you can see here. Here yeah, it 3x is, 3x plus 5 is greater or equal to 5x minus 3. I put it there in the slide, but I am explaining the whole thing. This is the first part of your solving the inequation. Now, greater equal to, now we are going to follow the steps, the properties we have done. So, 3 x plus 5, 3x plus 5, I want to first get rid of my minus 5 I am doing here, same thing I am doing on the other side. Once you are familiar with their working, you can avoid this step and do that mentally. So, minus 5. So, I could have, have written. already said that addition and subtraction, uh, sub, subtraction do not change the property of inequality. Y yes, right. Very good. So, then inequality does not change. So, we have subtracted. So, mentally after you are used to and you have got the properties clear, you can do straight forward. That means, this you are mentally thinking that this has become minus the moment you are putting minus. So, now we get 3 x is greater or equal to 5 x minus 8. Now, I have got a x term here, I have got a x term here, I have to solve for x. So, now what will I do? 3 x, same thing 5 x minus 5 x minus 8. That means, I am subtracting minus 5 x, that is I am subtracting 5 x from both the sides. So, again here also minus 5 x. So, we get here minus 2 x x greater or equal to minus 8. So, we have added, we have subtracted here, we have subtracted here. Now, I have come to a minus 2 x. So, minus 2 x greater or equal to, I have to find x. So, I should not have any coefficient here. What do I do? Divide by minus. Now, do not forget what we discussed, minus 2. When we are dividing by minus 2, minus 8 divided by minus 2. I hope you remember dividing by a minus negative number the inequality changes. So, we get here not greater equal to less equal to. So, you can write x is less equal to minus 4. This is a very important point to remember. Many students go wrong in this particular one. They go on like equation when if this was an equation say minus 2 x is equal to minus 8. Here it does not matter, x would be you could have written it upon minus 2. 
So, we could have written it as minus 2. So, therefore, what this is the difference in the equation and inequation solving that is dividing by minus 2 the inequality changes minus and minus here it becomes plus and minus 2 and minus 2 cancels and we get x, x is less equal to 4. Now, we have to find out the solution. Now, I am going to do the sol solving. Mm. Before that, I want to discuss a bit about your number system, because I have to find the solution. What will be the solution? Let us go on to the number system. The slide please. Yes. We will come to the uh, slide shortly. Please you uh, request ma'am. Now, proceed. for our Here number slide, system, yes, you can see in the slide also for the number system, we have what are the different number system? We have the natural numbers, n stands for the natural numbers, then we have w the whole numbers, then we have the integer z or i any one of the symbols we may use, then we have uh, rational numbers you can say rational which can be expressed as a fraction rational numbers both positive and negative and irrational numbers. Now, this is your 1, 2, 3 and so on all with a set of elements which are 1. This is what 0, 1 make clear about these number system. You have been doing number system in lower classes also, but you all when come to solving an equation many go wrong with the number system. Hmm. So, integers are you can have 0, 1, 2, 3 and carries on here we can have minus 1, minus 2 and so on carries on. Now, rational numbers are what? We cannot list so many rational numbers. Before going Any to rational number may I uh, take another phone call madam? Yes, yes. Nishant sure. Singh is there on the phone line. Yes, Nishant. Hello. Yes, Nishant. What? Yes. What is your question? Yes, actually I had a question. Suppose, uh, suppose we have an equation like this. Uh, okay, this equation 2 x minus 3. Yes. Greater than or equal to x plus 1 minus x divided by 3. Greater than or equal to 2 x by 5. Sir, but like we can split the equation, we do the equation or we can do it separately. So, which is better to do it or how will we do it sir? Yes. We are coming to it, we will come to those type of sums also with the two inequality. So, we okay. go step wise, everything ah. is step wise, right. So, first type is this, where we have one inequality sign and if you have the other with the two inequality, I will come in the next example. We will just finish discussing this and then we are going on to the next one. Please ma'am. So, irrational numbers, rational numbers, any number which can be expressed as p by q, p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 and numbers like root 2 which cannot be expressed as a fraction etcetera, they are, are in irrational number. This as a whole is a set of real numbers. All these number system together form the set of real numbers. So, I hope this is clear. So, let us go on to representing on the number line. Now, we are taking different cases. Number 1, suppose I said x, x belongs to, these are called replacement set. You can just have a set of elements as the replacement set mm. or you can have natural numbers, whole numbers, integers. That means, from where I will be getting my solution. If I write x less equal to 4, I do not know what to write because it is not clear what the numbers are. So, x belongs to n. n. Now, let us draw the number line. So, again that number line I had shown. So, we have a straight line. I said natural number. The first thing what you have to do is part 1. My solution is what? 1 natural numbers less equal to 4. I cannot go to negative numbers or 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So, this is my solution. First, you have to write down the solution and then represent. So, you now you draw because my question said represent on the number line. So, first 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. Now, we have got 1, so put circle 2, 3 and 4, these are my solution. So, that is your complete. Now, what are the things I have to make sure? There are two arrows on this side showing that it is an infinite line. Next, we are marking the points by dots, it is a natural number and next is we are going to have an extra element on each side, at least one, you can have more than one. So, I have 5, I have got a 0, so that means there are more numbers which are not part of the solution. So, this also you have to remember. So, this is my solution for the first one. Part 2, if I say x belongs to whole numbers, then what do is my solution? One more extra number comes 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, therefore, we get here part 2. So, again our number line 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, say minus 2. I have yeah. got two arrows, I have got the number line, I have marked the points with your ruler you draw and then I have got one more extra number here. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, solution done. So, solving, writing the solution set and representing on the number line. So, this is what you have to remember part 3. Now, this was part 3, first let us write here x belonging to integers, say z or i, anything. So, what is my solution? See, I have got here 4, I have got 3, I have got 2, I have got 1, I have got 0, but because it is integer, we have negative numbers also. So, next negative number minus 1, minus 2 and so on, it cannot stop because there are a lot of negative numbers which are less equal to infinite number of numbers we can say, it just carries on. So, again my number line, so again I have got minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, starts from 4, goes on because 4 is the next 0, minus 1, it can carry on and on. So, how do I make understand that my solution is more solution, more numbers are there? You darken this arrow as much as you can darken it. So, this shows my solution goes, the arrow small arrow shows of the number line being an infinite line, this shows that the solution goes up to infinity, number of solution. And part 4, next one let us do, part 4 x belonging to real numbers. Now, when you were earlier classes, you learnt about representation of sets. There are two ways you can represent set. One is the roster or tabular form, the okay. other is the set builder form, right. Now, real numbers, if you think of this, if I take this again, between 0 and 1, or say 1 and 2, there are as small as you can think all possible numbers, fractions, decimals, whatever yeah. you can think of all are there. How can you list all those elements? It is not possible to list all the elements. So, what do we do? We have to write it in the, this is a common error which is made listing elements of real numbers. You okay. cannot list elements of real numbers, please remember that. So, therefore, we get here x, so we write it in a mathematical statement x less equal to 4, x belonging to r. See all the in one sum I am actually showing 
all the different ways we can so we can ask for when you are given a sum mm. they will ask you either natural numbers or whole numbers or in integers and or real numbers so ma'am what are the most important points that we need to remember in this topic i'm coming to it after i finish the sum okay. and then i'll come back to it so Actually, we are running a uh, short of time okay okay so we have got here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 
So, we are 4 by 4 and now you can see some numbers and those inequality signs. So, it is based on inequality. So, the points you have to remember is you have to find out the unknown numbers. Two numbers are given 2 and 2 and you can use only numbers in a row or a column you, there must be no repetition of numbers okay. and the numbers you are using are 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, there is a greater sign, less sign. So, use those condition and try to solve it out. Later, we will try to give you the solution to the puzzle. Okay. I hope you are successful in it and please remember the few things that I have said. One is when you are solving an equation, bring all your x terms on one side, keep your constants on the other, solve them out. If there are two in equation, solve them out separately, write down the solution set and then represent on the number line if it is asked for. Okay. Thank you very much ma'am for you. vividly explaining our today's topic linear inequation. Thank you very much ma'am. তাহলে আজকের আলোচনা এখানেই শেষ করছি এবং আগামী কাল তোমরা জানো সোমবার থেকে শনিবার বাংলা শিক্ষা ক্লাসরুমে দুটো পর্যায়ে আলোচনা হয় সকাল 10টা এবং বিকেল 3টে সকাল 10টা আগামী কালকে আলোচনার বিষয় ভৌতবিজ্ঞান এবং পদার্থবিদ্যা নবম শ্রেণীর ভৌতবিজ্ঞান অ্যাটমিক স্ট্রাকচার এবং দ্বাদশ শ্রেণীর বিষয় পদার্থবিদ্যা রিফ্লেকশন এন্ড রিফ্র্যাকশন অফ লাইট অন কার্ভ সারফেসেস এই নিয়ে আলোচনা করবেন শিক্ষকরা और एक बार दोपहर तीन टे द्वितीय दफ़र जालो चुना शेखाने विषय इंग्रजी एवं कॉमर्सियल कॉस्टिंग्स एंड टैक्सेशन दशम स्वीनी इंग्रजी ते माय ओन ट्रू फैमिली एवं दादर स्वीनी कॉमर्सियल कॉस्टिंग एंड टैक्सेशन है विषय था बे कॉस्ट ऑफ लेबर्स एंड कंपल्शन ऑफ इनकम फ्रॉम लेट आउट एंड दोपहर तीन टेट जोनो आज सुन्दर छोटर मोड़ दे तो आगे पढ़ाते हो अभी बंग अवश्य पढ़ाने शो मोई तो आगे नाम स्कूले नाम जेलर नाम लिखते भूल बेना तो हमरा जानो व्हाट्सएप नंबर जे नंबर है तो आगे प्रश्न पढ़ाते हो व्हाट्सएप नंबर तो आगे जोनो आरेख बार जानिए रखी nine seven four eight two one seven two zero one एवं तुम्हारे ईमेल को करते पड़ो bs classroom twenty twenty at the rate gmail dot com ताहले आप तो तो ये पोर्ट जोन तो ही शॉप खबर जोन आप तो देख चौक था को शुद्ध मात्रो ए बी पी आनों में